Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? I'm just getting it in. Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Ooh, what's going on, people, today? I'm day. I'm another day. I'm another day we call Tuesday. And it would have been said, what's going on, people? Oh, hope everybody's still among us and everybody is doing things that's, you know, working towards the things and the goals and the dreams that you want out of life. And forgive me, I have a cold. Um, it finally came on. I, I said it like three days ago. When I did the other video, I was like, I think my cold is coming on, so it's coming on. So it's going to wait before I did this video, but I had to find out, um, I pray a lot, which you, I don't know if you know that, but I do I actually pray a whole lot, so just working me here. And I was like, you know, hearing the thing on Kesha, on the rate charges and stuff like that, and, you know, I wanted to, you know, I was like, well, I need something to hand over to you to let you understand a situation, which is similar. And it is called, um, a trans man, his name is Ty Peterson. Here's a picture of him right here. Now, I don't know if you're aware of him or not aware. But, and the reason why I say the, the cash thing as far as the rape stuff, and the reason why people don't come in and, you know, report being raped because of the ridicule and the judgment that people receive, you know, it can be very overwhelming. So let me tell you what happened. Peterson, my brother, is 25 years old. And he was put in prison for self-defense. He said, living true to myself in hell and using my voice to change my world. Hashtag all shall be equal. Now, Mr. Peterson is finally getting his, you know, testosterone, you know, from being incarcerated, locked up, and he's, a car he's incarcerated at Pulaski State Prison, Haltonville, Georgia. Now, it was another trans woman, her name was Ashley Diamond, and she was a trans woman that was locked up, and she had filed a lawsuit um, back in April and remember her, remember her she was upset because she felt as though you know they wasn't giving her hormones and she was put inside of it you know uh, she was in a, a men's prison and she was raped constantly here's a picture of her right here okay Ashley Diamond filed a lawsuit and she won her case but it's unexplosed amount. Now, the department um, updated their policy about trans last April from the lawsuit from Ashley. So she kind of got the ball rolling. So Mr. Peterson can, you know, kind of like receive those type of accolades once, you know, they do, you know, the um, files and stuff and, you know, realize that it is a male that's inside of, you know, the female prison and he can start his um, therapy as far as testosterone. Now, this is the thing that bothered me the most. The reason why I wanted to do this story, you know, in reference to him, my brother. You know, my brother, um, Mr. Peterson, I want you to stay strong. Ty, Mr. Ty Peterson, I want you to stay strong because your big sister right here was devastated by the story. And I wanted other people to see what was going on with you. Um, it was involuntary manslaughter after he found a stranger on top of him, raping him. In 2011, allegedly, I have to say allegedly because of, you know, legal reasons, he received a 20-year sentence for self-defending himself of being raped, allegedly. This is what happened. It was in an abandoned trailer in Georgia. And it was in a mobile park where Peterson lived with his two young brothers and his mother. He alleged shot the man in self-defense. He was advised by a plea deal which sentenced him to 20 years. Okay. 
he alleged he been hostile, excuse me, hostile treatment at the hands of Pulaski State Prison when they placed him in protective custody. He attempted to kill himself, and that was in June. Now, I want to get that out of the way. Um, he has been going through it, and they have, you know, approved his testosterone, and you know, and he went to go see doctors, and he feels as though he's happy now that they finally can acknowledge him for his gender instead of his truth of being who he is, and now, you know, maybe he won't start, you know, trying to kill himself. Now, my problem I have with this, why is he in prison? So I don't want to know. Someone, allegedly, like I said, I have to say that, but I have to, tried to rape him. He shot him. Or did rape him. I'm not sure the story is, or, you know, he shot him for being raped. And he's paying for his actions. And this is why I said with the Kesha story, and the reason why a lot of females as well as men don't go back and repeat and tell. It's for this reason right here. Victimizing. You have turned this victim into the killer, the perpetrator, the rapist. You have demised everything that he believed that y'all would do to help him. As a system, you turned on him. You made him pay for being raped by a man. This, and this incarceration is unfair, unjust. And I don't know if any of you know about this, but I need to let y'all know about this. And I need y'all to share this video. We need our brother out of this place. He don't need to be locked up. He needs to be free. Ty Peterson needs to be free. He does not have no reason to be sitting inside of a prison for being raped. This is victimizing. Or someone who fought back for something that was happening to them and they're paying for it. And it kind of takes me back to CC. who fought the trans woman who fought back as well. They were put in prison for fighting back, for saving their own life. You know, and we really need to share this video. We need to let people understand what is happening to us. When we are murdered, we're not even seen on the news. They don't even care. But we need to share this. We as an LGBT community need to share this video and let everyone know about Mr. Peterson, another one our brothers is falling underneath the wing of darkness. We need to fight for him. I know you may not know what to do, but just share the video. People are going to look at it. People are going to find good with it. People are going to find good within it. People are going to find bad with it. People are going to find problem with me or anything the case may be. But I need you to let it know, be known that our brother is sitting inside of prison for a 20 year sentence for fighting back of a rapist. For fighting back. And I want you to look outside this right now and act like this is you sitting inside a prison for fighting back for someone who is trying to take your life to doing something to you. Your reward is in prison. We need to stick together on this one. We need to get him out. Mr. Peterson needs to, if we don't know how to get along at no point, at this point, just share the video. Just keep sharing this video. Share this until it falls on someone's desk where they can say, okay, I need to look into this situation and find a way to get him out of there. Get our brother out of there. Get our brother out of there. Get our brother out of here. He has no reason to be in there. He has no reason to be in there. I want you to act like you are Mr. Peters. I want you to put yourself in someone's shoes. I want you to work with empathy today. Whether you gay, straight, bi, trans, or kids may be, right is right and wrong is wrong. I need your help on this one. 
Anyway, I just want to put this out here. I'm not going to end it the way I normally do, but I really need your help in this one. I've never asked any of you, any times you ever watch me to share any of my videos. I never asked you not once to share this video. But I really need your help in this one. I want my brother out of there. I want him out. ASAP. So I know within the, within the army we have other family unity. Let's get him out of there, y'all. Let's do what we got to do. It's better, to, it's better to try and fail than to never try to all. Just drop it anywhere. Just drop it anywhere until we get it to a point where people are listening to what is happening to him. In unity, we can make a lot of power. And I really need your help in this one. And all I want to ask you to do this one time for me, please share this video any way you can. We need to drop this on someone's desk so someone can find out what has actually happened to our brother and why is he inside today. He was there since he's 20 years old. He's 25. That's five years too many. It's five years to me that should have never been in there. So please help me with this one, fam. I've never asked you for to share anything before, but please help me on this one. I love you. Thank you for watching.